Live from historic Shy Park in Philadelphia, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Oakland Athletics. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And pitching in this one for Oakland, Kyle Muller. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Okay, all set to go. Gio Urshela to the plate. And a pitch. Good for a strike. And we're underway. The wind of the pitch. That misses. Oh. And it's a ball and a strike. Second pitch of the game. It was a good one, but doesn't get the strike call. We'll see how this umpire zone shapes up today. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. And there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Their opponent on the mound today does run into some trouble finding the strike zone in time. So, Singy, I got to figure part of the plan, be patient, be selective today. Yeah, you know coming in, regardless of, you know, what that first inning is going to look like, you know his history. You don't want to help him out. You've got to be patient and make sure that when you attack, that it's a pitch that you can do some damage with. Otherwise, just build up some traffic on the base pass, push oh, across some easy runs, and perhaps get into some of those gap arms in the bullpen. Kicks and deals. And that Got one missing ball. low. And a foul ball. And he deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. And here it comes. On the line, base hit. Around first, digging for two. And that's a two bagger. He was all over that one. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now batting Mike Trout. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Yeah. That one's in there 0-1. Mike oh, Trout, oh, just a special player, a special human. Does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. The pitch. Line drive. Caught. Here's Shohei Otani. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Hey, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Field two. Just Ball. misses the mark outside the zone. Ball. 
The one two. That's the ball. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Angels lead one, and now the Athletics offense gets its first shot here. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Philadelphia and towing the slab, Patrick Sandoval. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the veteran third baseman, Jace Peterson. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Why to kick the pitch? Strike two. I went through. And now one, one and two. O2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Kicks and fires. And there's a the ball. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one down. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Here's Tony Kemp. And that's in there for strike one. Line drive, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. there and it's 0-1. After the loss yesterday afternoon where they really didn't ever get things going on offense, I think this is an important opportunity right here to pick up an early run. Man at second. In the air out to center. Trout is there. Pulls it in and there's two away. Batting four. And time now to check out the A's lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like it could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Brent Rooker, the That's next the to hit, takes ball one. Next pitch no, is downstairs. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Next one misses. And it's 3-0. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Here's a 3-0. And ball That's four, four to aboard. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So first and second with two outs. Oledmis Diaz now. Next pitch downstairs. 1-0. and oh. Kemp on second. Rooker on at first with two down. Next 
next offering is fouled back. At the belt and fires. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Next one misses, and now three and one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Here comes a pinch. Gets a piece, and stays alive. Two outs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Ward fires it to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Commission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. So two down, Loriano comes up to hit. Two for six so far in the series. That one ripped. That's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. One run in the inning, but they leave two. So one run in the inning on this base hit as the A's are on top. Back after this on the show. Here at Shy Park, and here's the first baseman, Brandon Drury. Brandon The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year. And we are starting over. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. exactly the pitch he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark <laughs> now it's Hunter Renfro the outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He swings and fouls one off. Tied up here in the early going. One, two. That one just misses. It's a good take. Two and two. Next pitch is outside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And now the lefty. High fly ball out to center field. Kemp settles underneath it. And out number one on the grab. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Luis Rangifo now at the plate. A switch hitter batting right. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
There's a strike. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. The 1-1 one -one is Ball, upstairs. Two balls and a strike. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And yeah, there's ball four. Ball four. Take your base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Anthony run around at first with one gone. Next to hit, Anthony Rendon. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Ring Ifo, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Pena, got him, caught stealing. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. And a pitch. And one and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering is downstairs. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Payoff pitch. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Got him. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1 1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Put your hands up. It's a new sheriff in town. Everybody get up, get down. And And welcome back. Bottom of the second. Here's Manny Pena. Sandoval back to work. That's in for a strike. takes a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Next offering misses. Get a count, one and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. To third, Rendon picks it up. Rolls across the diamond. One up, one down. Batting it. The designated hitter. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jordan Diaz. First offering misses the mark. 1-0. Missed. The pitch. 
That one missed, now three and oh. through there for a strike. Popped up. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball, one strike. Left-hand batter waits. That one misses. And that is ball one. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. One and two here. And another ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. A's go quickly and quietly there. Score remains tied, 1-1. here at the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Muller back to work. There's a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball one. And he deals. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Here's Gio Urshela. Urshela started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he went around. That's ruled the swing. That one misses, and the count is one and one. Good eye right there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The next pitch misses. Now three and one. Slapped foul. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. So up next, Taylor Ward doubled his first time up. The 
and one. Oh and one. Urshela at first, one gone. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. The pitch. And that one, one almost strikes. got him. Next pitch is outside. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. Got him swinging. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Trout gets a chance to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Trout measures six feet, two inches, 31 years old. Let's remember a major part of his resume are those three MVP awards. And now it's even up. One, one. And here it comes. Softly hit to third. They get the force. That ends the frame. Angels strand one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here in Philadelphia. Now it's Chase Peterson. The third baseman. Peterson. And the pitch. And that's a strike. Out to short. Urshela handles. Slings it across. And a quick out number one. The batter, number five. Second baseman, Tony. Digging in for Oakland, Tony Kemp. One for one with a double and a run score. Ground ball right side, base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man aboard now with one away. Waste no time there. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing, not get beat by that pitch. Man at first with one gone. And now the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. In there for strike one. Kicks and deals. High in the air, out to right. Renfro in position. Pulls it in for the out. The left fielder, number 25. Brent Rooker. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Rooker batting in the cleanup spot, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. And the 1 0. And that's in for a strike. Kemp, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch is outside. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. Two 
2-2 now. That's towards center. Trout on his boards. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And into second easily with a two-out double. Bro cut off, now to the plate. And he's out! Cut down, and that ends the inning. Textbook defensive execution right there. Outfielder hits the cutoff man. Relay throw to the plate. A perfect strike and a great way to end the inning. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Peterson makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now back. The first base. Brandon. Brandon Drury to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. In there, and it's 0-1. They say it went. Oh, we do. Next one off no, the plate inside. inside. Ball one. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swung on, popped up, left side. Diaz moves under it. Makes the grab. And there's two down. The batter, the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Flied out to center in his first at bat. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounced out to short. Diaz gloves it. Fires to first on the run. Third out, and that ends the frame. Angels go down 1-2-3. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Here at Shy Park, and now it's going to be Oletmis Diaz. Diaz. The wind of the pitch. Here's a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Going to count one and two. Pitch. That's the ball. Recognize that changeup right Good out of two. the hand. Just spit on it. Next no, pitch is outside. Ball. Full count three that's and two. Down. And now the lefty. Ground ball to the right side. He'll do it himself. 
And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Ramon Laureano. Glad to left his first time up. First offering, and it just misses. A little bit low. Two up. And a rope into center field, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Manny Pena up next for the A's. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. Loriano leads off first with one away. Now snap throw to first. Loriano dives back in safely. To first, and they've got him picked off. To second, and he's out. Next one is off the play, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. Two down, nobody on. And there's a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now the A's designated hitter, Jordan Diaz. That's the ball. First offering, misses the mark. And a pitch. Now a check swing, but he held up. Almost got him to commit, but he held back. The next offering misses. And now 3-0. 3-0. Here comes a pitch. And that's ball that's four. Ball four. Take your bet. Now batting, center fielder. And First and second, two outs. Lawrence Butler will hit next. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Pitch misses inside, and now 2-0. Oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. 2-0. Oh. Misses with the 2-0, oh, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
Three, two on the way. And they're all loaded up. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. So the lineup flips over. Next up for the A's, Jace Peterson. Nobody's hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. The pitch. Ball one there. Movement in the bullpen. Griffin Cannon appears to be getting loose. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Out to short, Urshela handles the chance. They take the force out, and that's the inning. A's threaten, but leave them loaded. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. The second baseman, Luis Rangifo. The wind and the pitch. Good eye right there. The pitch. That's off the mark. Nope. Two and oh. Two balls, no strike. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Loriano puts it away, and there's one away. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. First pitch, oh. just misses. Just miss with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. Next one oh. misses. Two balls, no strikes. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. 2-0 is in for a strike. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Towards first. And he can't come up with it. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. So in now for the Angels, Logan Ohapi. Caught looking his first time up. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1. Now one, one and one. one. And the next Two pitch one. is way outside. Hey. And he pumps in a strike. Punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Angels go quietly there, halfway home, all even, one apiece. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Tony Kemp. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And that skips in the dirt. One. 
Next offering misses, and it's two and one. And there's a the ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And the 3 1. Rolled over to third. Zips it across. Hey. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Up next to the, the first base. Jesus. Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. Up next for the A's. Foul ball there. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. And now the one count and is even. That clips a corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last one. Struck him out swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Brooker up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. On the ground, right side. And it gets by him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. Oh, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. To the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That ends the inning. One left for Oakland. We played five full, tied at one aside. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Hogan Harris. He's making his second appearance of the season. So the batting order turns over. Gior Shella steps in. Harris goes six feet, three inches, 230 pounds, and he was a third round pick back in 2018. Next pitch is popped up and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward, one for two. First pitch, not close. Bullpen activity starting up now. Domingo Acevedo up and throwing. Mole warming up as well. One down, base is empty. There's a line drive to left field. And that one hops the wall. Diaz with a relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. One out, runner at second. Mike Trout, the next to hit for the Angels. Check swing, now a look down to first. No, he held up. Ward, the runner at second with one away. Line, and that 
That's a base hit. Runner around third. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. One down. Shohei Otani digs in now. Corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Otani measures six feet, four inches, 210 pounds, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. And he deals. And that one missing low. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Next offering upstairs. Rio. And a strike in there. Three and one. And he walked him. Nope, that's ball four. Runner take your base. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And next for the Angels, Brandon Drury. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. One out. Runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. For a strike, now three and one. And now it's filled up. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. In the air, right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First offering, and it just misses. First and second, two down. The next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Two 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 outs. There's a strike. Two on, two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Two, two now. Battling here as he fouls it away.
And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Out of here. Hunter Renfro hits one out. His first homer of the year. And they add on. It's 5-1. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the fresh shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that whole run. The left-hander on now, number 38. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Here's the 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Breaking ball and that got him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. Oh, he's only an out away from getting through the inning, but he just lost control for a brief moment there. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus back right here. Rendon, the next to hit, takes outside. Rengifo leads off first with two down to the inning. Step off throw to first. Rengifo back on a dive. The lefty to 1 0. Slow roller to third. Peterson picks it up. Slings the first, inning over. Although plenty of damage done. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 5-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. Sandoval back to work. On the corner for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Tapera getting ready to go. Berea getting loose as well. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. And that's down and away. Two and one. Next offering is down low. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Pena in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Rudder at first with no outs here. That one ran inside, almost got him. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. 
Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. At the belt and fires. On the ground, could be two. There's one. And it's a double play. Now, the designated hitter. So now here's the DH, Jordan Diaz. And the first offering is not close. And that one is lifted in the air. Renfro in position. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning.